Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is uh, continuing with the systemic approach of medicine uh, on connective tissue. Um, this is systemic. By saying systemic, I just uh, laying uh, layer out like this from the invisible micro, uh, I mean the compounds, organic compounds, and then to the cell level, to the tissue level. So now still on the tissue level, as I mentioned previously, there's only four uh, major tissues in the body. And uh, epithelia, I already talked about that. Uh, use some examples to uh, address some diseases occurring in the epithelia. And uh, I'll move on to the move down to the connective tissue last time we talked about the adipose tissues first, um, which is the, the of course associated disease with clinical conditions. And today I'm going to move on to another connective tissue, which is the uh, the blood. Um, um, it's kind of strange. Blood is a liquid. It, uh, you cannot imagine. Is it a tissue? Actually, it is. The tissue refers to the a group of cells um, similar and uh, carry on the functions and uh, uh, sitting on the matrix, which are ground substances or uh, any other uh, components. So blood is also belong to the connective tissue, had the cellular components and also the matrix. The matrix is just in the liquid form instead of the uh, ground substance or the, the solid form as other tissues. So the this is the, the blood and the circulating the blood, I just probably uh, introduce you, I've mentioned before, there's the red blood cells, there's the white blood cells and also the platelets. These are the three major cellular components or uh, solid components in this connective tissue. Of course, the, the matrix, matrix, which are the plasma, containing different proteins, and those proteins serving as coagulation, nutrients, transport, etc., etc., and also the immune function. So this is the, the uh, whole picture of the blood. In terms of the cells, the red blood cells associate diseases. You, I, I'm going to talk about that. You probably, uh, if you follow my pre previous video, we know I talk about the anemia, for example, or uh, polycythemia. So this is oh, not enough or too much. And also the white blood cells is one of the complicated uh, class of cells, including different kind, like the, the lymphocytes, the eosinophils, uh, the uh, basophils, and also the, uh, the monocytes, and also the other uh, um, master cells, so different kind of, which is the, uh, the master, master cells, which is um, one of the, the uh, white blood cells. So this is about the, uh, the branching of the white blood cells and platelets. Uh, platelets are not the cell, but it's the solid components, and those are the fragments from the uh, megakaryocytes, which is huge cells, and just the shedding of those small pieces of the platelets and to uh, involve in the function of coagulation, also uh, the inflammation, also to heal the injury. So this is a briefly intro introduction of this uh, connective tissue in the blood. And the, the red blood cells, of course, you know, I have mentioned so many times, which is the give the color because of the um, the heme in the red blood cells and uh, carry the oxygen, make this red color. And uh, it's a concave shape, the disc, and uh, probably lifetime of 120 days. And the function, of course, I talk so many times, you know it, carry the oxygen, uh, uh, circulate in the blood, um, and uh, carry the waste to the lung. Uh, carry the oxygen from the lung to the tissue for metabolism, and carry on, on the uh, carry off the uh, carbon dioxide, which is the waste generated from the uh, oxidation, phosphorylation process of the metabolism and to the lung to uh, uh, breathe out. So this is red blood cells. The red blood cells has the uh, hemoglobin as the one who carry on this function, what um, to uh, carries out these functions. A he hemoglobin uh, need iron. Uh, actually, iron is the element to carry on, uh, carry out this function, either from the oxidized or the reduced. This chemical reaction on the um, invisible chemical reaction turn out to carry on this function, oxygen and the carbon dioxide. So disease associated with this red blood cells anemia, of course, we already talked about it. Either hemolysis, which is breakdown the red blood cells, or the uh, 
not uh, produce enough like iron deficiency, vitamin B12 deficiency, for example, or the uh, abnormal structure or the genetic cause, either uh, the membrane or the inside the components like the hemoglobin itself or uh, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency, etc., or the uh, schizocytes or etc., so different shape of red blood cells cause this uh, easy to break down, fragile, uh, to cause this hemolysis. So these are the three pathways of causing the anemia. And also um, uh, the function, like hemoglobin is not function well. So this is the uh, anemia. I have, uh, I have had a previous video, so if you're interested, you can uh, follow it. And the other uh, red blood cell disease actually was easily to ignore, uh, to be missed, which is the polycythemia, which means including red blood cells. Uh, start particularly in young female, I think, um, uh, because I think this sometimes the reason is not known, could be genetic, could be other cause, I think probably over response to the menstrual loss, blood each month, and the body get a signal, uh, generate more. That's probably, uh, it's just the, the, the theoretical explanation, it could be just uh, some other causes or idiopathic without known cause. So anyway, so those really, because the symptoms are kind of subtle, just itchy and uh, obesity in a kind tend to occur with uh, over body weight people. But the risk was, is there, particularly for young female taking the uh, estrogen, uh, and then these two factors and uh, plus the uh, genetic or uh, a long time not, not uh, a sedative lifestyle, for example, these are all the risk factors for the DVT, deep vein thrombosis, and cause the um, the pulmonary uh, embolism. So this is the the other disease associated with the red blood cells. Uh, I I repeated uh, many times because it's easily to be missed, and uh, um, and also the white blood cells are uh, usually uh, the function of white blood cells is in the immune function. Like lymphocytes, for example, micro or uh, the uh, the monocytes will uh, become the microphage in the tissue to as a first line defense mechanism to uh, uh, through the phagocytosis to eat those uh, foreign bodies or dead cells. So this is the function, and also uh, lymphocytes, for example, in the uh, tumor or in the uh, viral infection, those are the uh, those lymphocytes through different type, different mechanism to, uh, to uh, uh, fight against the virus. And also some other cells, like master cells, uh, um, evolve in the allergy uh, and to release the, the chemicals to dilate the blood vessels. And also sometimes it is necessary for the repair, for the defense. But it is, if it is overreacted, will cause the allergy, or release too much of those chemicals, cause vessel dilation, cause uh, itchy and also the uh, the local rash during the uh, um, the uh, allergy season. So this is and the playlist of course I talk about that either too much um, or not enough or not function well. If it's not enough causing the uh, the tendency to bleeding uh, but usually the playlist cause the bleeding hemorrhage uh, superficial in the mucus or the under the skin or if it's too much cause thrombosis easily uh, to have this thrombosis and increase the risk of heart and stroke, heart disease or stroke. So this is another uh, really uh, brief and superficial, just touch the basis for the uh, connective tissue example, or the diseases of connective tissue using blood as example. I'm going to stop here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.